Okay, everybody. Here we are uh, with part two of our scrap jewelry refine. Um, if you remember in the first part, I said I had a little bit of dental gold that I wasn't absolutely sure about. So we are actually going to do that separate. I'm going to go ahead and uh, melt this off first and pour it. Um, I figured my copper ratio to put in it. So let's go ahead and do that part. Get this melted and poured. Actually just pour it into a, not really a blob. You want to kind of fast pour it. You want to, you want shot, but you want kind of a little plate. You know, like a large surface area for your acid to attack. So we're just going to go ahead and melt this up. I am using my copper dish that I usually melt copper in because it doesn't really matter. You know, we're actually going to be taking all the copper out. So it's not a biggie if we get a crack. You don't want to get too much, though. You want to keep this as close to 25% gold as you possibly can. You don't really want to, you know, put too much copper or if you're using silver, put too much silver when you're in courting because it just makes it easier. You end up with a, a powder that'll stay together a little bit better if you're right at that 25% ratio. Whereas if you go more than that, you know, you're your gold will tend to be a finer powder and suspend more and everything just takes longer. So we're going to go ahead and do this. Um, I'm going to do this dental gold real quick and then we'll get back to you when we're going to start doing our carrot gold. So I'll be right back at you. Okay guys, um, we did our little dental pour stuff and I actually have no idea what that was, that dental stuff, or supposedly, I mean, it tested like it was gold, but this looks like a, more like an aluminum bronze type thing that if I was to whack it with a hammer, it would just break like glass. But anyway, that's why I didn't mix it up, because I didn't know what it was going to do. But we will still put this in a separate little container and uh, do the same thing that we're going to do to our other encorded gold and we'll see if there was any gold in it or not so I'm going to heat this dish up again and I'm going to put our gold and copper in there and uh, we'll get back at you when we're getting close to pouring our shot so we'll see you in a few okay guys we got our dish good and hot um, I'm going to go ahead and put this in. If it starts getting to be too long, what I'll do is just time lapse it. But, because uh, it's probably going to take a while to melt this. But I cleaned our dish out with some borax. I actually did it a couple times. I just put a bunch of borax in there and poured it out. And a bunch of borax in there and poured it out. So we should be good to go for this. We do have quite a bit of metal. So it is going to take a little time to melt this. Get everything in here. So like I said, if it starts taking too long, I'll just, I'll time lapse this video. Get everything in here. But we did get our dish good and hot, so it shouldn't take forever anyway. Starting to come together pretty good now. We're actually getting a bead in there in the center now that's starting to suck up the rest of the metal. So we should be good to go in just a couple of minutes.
Another thing you want to remember, whenever you're melding your carrot gold, if you have clasps or anything like that, you're going to want to make sure you break those clasps open and take those steel springs out of them. Because you don't want that in this mix. We are almost completely fluid. I'm going to give it a little bit more. Because like I said, I want to get a good shock pour out of this. So I want to make sure that everything is incorporated and mixed up good. going to hit it with a little borax right now just to clean it up a hair. But we got a good fluid metal now. I'm sure everything is mixed good. So we are going to go ahead and pour this off. And as you can see, what we got out of this is actually quite a, quite a bit different color than what we got out of that dental scrap. So I don't know if that was gold or not. But here is our encorded gold. Watch, well, you got to be careful. Some of those are like little needles. So we are going to get this picked out of there. And get ready to put it in acid. So we will get back to you in just a bit. I, some, <laughs> actually, some borax made it all the way up here to the camera. I'm going to go ahead and pick this stuff out, guys. And then we'll get back to you in just a bit. Okay, guys, as you can see, this is our encorded gold. Um, I actually take and dump the last little bit out onto a paper towel because if you can't, I don't know if you can see them or not, but there's some really, really, really tiny, 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 fine little balls of encorded gold in here, and I want to make sure I get everything. So, we're going to just go ahead and put this stuff in a thousand milliliter beaker. just a bit we're gonna start our nitric acid treatment now when I do this this calls for uh, you know dilute nitric acid in order to do this this is one of the few times where I actually mix my stuff in advance so what I will do is I will actually did you hear all those little beads so you don't see them but you hear them <laughs> I mean, there's quite a bit of quite a bit of gold left there but anyway, like I was saying, this is one of the few things that I actually will, and if you see that black ash type stuff, kind of just sticks to the paper towel. So that's what I wanted, and all our little fine bits of gold, I don't know if you can see that, I might have had it too close, but all our little fine bits of gold are, are in the jar now, or in the beaker. Um, but anyway, I'm going to actually mix up some 35% nitric acid. Um, in advance and then we're going to pour that on here and we are going to go from there this little guy like I said I'm glad I did it like I did because I have no idea what that is it is not even near the color it should be so we'll do that separately but anyway um, I've got a few errands to run and I'll be back and we'll start our nitric acid treatment and see what we end up with so we'll be back at you in a bit okay guys so we did a little bit of figuring and uh, looks like we're going to need about 290 to 300 milliliters for this one and we're going to need about 15 milliliters for this one now this once again was that dental stuff I have no idea what this is 
because it certainly doesn't look like encorded gold but it did hold under 10 karat acid so I'm going to just try and treat it that way and we'll see what it is I mean I just don't know so I'm going to go ahead and mix us up some uh, I'm going to go ahead and make some 35 percent nitric acid here and uh, we're going to go ahead and get started on this so let me go ahead and get this stuff mixed up and then we will get these set up on the little warmers up there and we will start dissolving our base metals so we will be right back at you in just a minute okay guys we've got our uh, first little batch mixed um, this is my distilled water this is my I got 150 mils here and I've got 150 mils of nitric acid I'm just showing you this because you want to always remember you want to add your acid to the water you don't want to add your water to your acid and the reason behind that is is if there's anything in it that's going to make it react and you are dumping say the water into the acid you can get quite a violent reaction so you just want to make sure that whenever you're mixing acids that you add the acid to the water or to what you're mixing with you don't want to do it the other way around so just to make sure you guys know that go ahead and rinse that out I know it's going to be a little bit extra but so what we have actually done here is we have made our dilute nitric acid or 35 percent nitric acid which we are going to use to dissolve these metals. So that is naturally for this one, and this is for this one. Now I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of this to this one because I have no idea what this is going to do. So I'm actually going to get a little, um, one of these little bowls and put that there. And we're just going to go ahead and add a little bit of this to this and see what happens. So that is all of it. We are getting a reaction. I guess we're just gonna see what happens with this. And I am going to go ahead and add some to this. get an instant reaction there because of the copper. Let me put my back fan on. behind this but I am going to put it in here just in case and that you definitely don't want to be breathing that Knox gas is deadly so we are actually going to go ahead and put these up here and I will move the camera Okay, I don't know what we're going to get with that, but hang on and we'll be right back with you. Okay, so we are back. I've got my covers. I'm going to go ahead and 
put this cover on this one and we're going to put this little cover on this guy we're not getting a very violent reaction there so I'm not overly worried about that one nothing like the reaction from what we knew but this one I would think would still be reacting because we still have I mean a lot of copper in there so I don't know like I said I'm not positive what that was I don't know if that was white gold it held under 10 karat gold acid and you know kind of dissolved a little bit under 14 so we're just going to do that separate that's why I like doing things separately because that is definitely different this is definitely something different than our jewelry gold all right guys I'm gonna let this react for a bit um, and we will get right back at you here in a little while as soon as we get some of this dissolved down okay guys that initial reaction has stopped pretty much so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add some more 35 percent nitric to this this little guy over here is turning some funky weird colors and this should be all we need in that one so but I don't know I don't like I said I have no idea what that was so we're just gonna let it do its thing um, right now we're gonna go ahead and add some more acid to this one and we are gonna continue to do that until we are just left with our gold in there so on and off that's what I'm gonna do uh, I'm not gonna just keep lifting a lid and pouring acid in and you see that's what we're gonna do so there's no point in me turning this on and off every time I do that so when we get this down to the point that we're gonna start cleaning it up I'll get back at you by then we should have a better idea of what's going on in here so we will be back at you when we just have some little sponge gold left in here so we'll see you in a bit okay guys I'm just gonna actually call it a night um, I've got some uh, reading to do on this dental stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and end this video out right here um, we'll pick it up again in the morning um, like I said I gotta do some reading on this because that brown stuff is just throwing me for a loop and naturally that's you know that's how it goes when you do this so I'm gonna see if I can figure out some things about it um, and we will get back at you guys in the morning so have a good one we'll see you then